for you. Plus. injuring at least 17 people and leaving hundreds homeless. In the tornado's aftermath, residents walked up and down streets cluttered with tree trunks, pieces of glass, and sheets of metal. That is a classic tornado if you ever see one. Well, speaking about uh, Wisconsin, you can see some of the damage there. We saw the scenes of what the tornado looked like, and here are some of the scenes of the people walking up and down the streets just checking out the situation. Again, about half of the town leveled from that tornado. The storms last night, about this time here in New York City, coming into Staten Island and right into, uh, looks like Queens there, so some very heavy downpours. Around Philadelphia, most of the weather off your north, it appears up toward Bucks County. Still remember uh, a number of weeks ago how lower Bucks County was hammered by storms. Here's Tornado Watch, a new one including Long Island, right on down the southern half of New Jersey, northern Delaware, from Wilmington to Dover who saw one line of storms. This is the line right here that moved out of Pennsylvania. Quite a number of reports of tornadoes, southern Pennsylvania, northern Maryland, also in Washington, D.C., some damage reported with this line that has swept through. And it's really uh, the only part left over now is in extreme southern Maryland. Closer view of the radar, we have Doppler radar to help us out, and that can really pinpoint these storms. We're looking at Maryland. Over to Baltimore, it looks great now, but out toward Westminster and uh, over to around Liberty Reservoir, north of there, that's where that tornado had tracked through. May have touched down also uh, a little bit farther to the southeast. Nasty storms heading over to Stafford County, Virginia, Charles County, Maryland, and St. Mary's County. You still have to deal with these. They're heading right down the Patuxent River. Not quite like last night, but uh, still, these storms had to be dealt with. Uh, possibilities.
how about it, Dave? Well, we just have to get through tonight. Right. And then it's going to clear out and be a nice weekend. Those are the words from AccuWeather, but we have a tornado watch posted until 11 o'clock this evening. Let's go to Action Radar. The latest picture shows you those cells we've been watching now starting to break apart in two as they head toward Philadelphia. Uh, Chester, Montgomery, and Bucks County involved. But again, you can see the break in between the two. We'll continue to track them for you. Let's go live on Sky 6 as we watch the city and we look for some storm clouds approaching. Sky 6 moving around a little bit. The winds are kicking up out there. With that live picture, let's show you the numbers. 85 degrees thus far. The high, the low, 73. Present temperature reading is 83. Winds out of the west, southwest at 16 with some higher gusts. For tonight, once again, tornado watch posted. For the entire area, parts of southeastern Pennsylvania, much of New Jersey, much of Long Island uh, of New York, and parts of northern Delaware and adjacent coastal waters. That's till 11 o'clock, the overnight low, 66 degrees, and then things will start to clear. For Saturday, sunny and windy, a uh, high of, uh, let's make that 80 degrees, winds out of the northwest 12 to 25 miles per hour, but less humid. And then on Sunday, sunshine, uh, pleasantly warm, a high of 84 degrees. The same pattern holds for the Poconos and the shore. We'll tell you more about that at 6 o'clock tonight. Well, we started the day with a torrential downpour, and we're ending it possibly with more storms. But when the forecast calls for storms, they are not all alike. The Acufax file, tonight we're going to check out some storm warnings. Heavy thunderstorms, like the ones that rumbled through here this morning, can produce very heavy rains. Any damage they do will most likely come from flooding. But when the call is for severe storms, that means the possibility of damaging winds, hail, and even tornadoes. The winds can gust over 55 miles an hour. Now back to this morning's downpour. You probably noticed how dark it was just before the rain. That's because the water in the clouds prevents even light from the sun from getting through. The darker the skies, the more water in the clouds. Now once the cloud burst begins, skies can lighten. Quickly. Again, we're under that tornado watch until 11 o'clock tonight. Between now and 7 o'clock, we expect that system to move through or either break apart. We'll continue to watch it on Action Radar. All right, thank Again. you, Dave. And if you drive a Ford car or van, stick around. We've got up right and left across the mid-Atlantic states. And now we're seeing some very nasty thunderstorms developing over portions of Virginia. Right now, severe thunderstorm warnings are out for Westmoreland County, right over there, basically just south of the Potomac River. These thunderstorms have had a history of producing some hail, very heavy amounts of rain, and possible tornadoes as they drop towards the south and the east. Back to our weather maps we go. Another potential problem today will not only be the severe weather, but also very heavy amounts of rain. Some of the thunderstorms this afternoon over portions of Nebraska and Iowa have been dropping literally an inch to two inches of rain an hour. So some very soaking rains there. More locally heavy rains too developing throughout the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic. And with that again, the threats for more intense thunderstorms. Stay tuned. We'll be updating more radars very shortly. We'll check out your weekend too, coming up next. I guess, but these are the bright white clouds indicating the lift in the atmosphere sinking air in behind it. We don't find anything bubbling up over western New York or western Pennsylvania. The threat for rough weather is over. But look at that. When we get in a little bit closer, you'll see that the radar is just lighting up everywhere. Thunderstorms into Providence, not severe. Thunderstorm here in Islip, New York, putting down a whole lot of rain. And has it been raining in Newark? Boy, that has moved out into Monmouth County, down toward Philadelphia. Look out. These thunderstorms racing through Montgomery, Chester and Delaware counties, and they're headed right for the city of brotherly love. Here in New York City, you've gotten some rain. There could be some more left over and then clearing for tomorrow. South of Baltimore and Washington, that's where the thunderstorms are that produce damaging winds. Just northwest of Baltimore earlier today.
right away. That tornado watch remains posted by the National Weather Service until 11 o'clock this evening. Oh, where things are starting to clear out very, very nicely. Early this morning, we started with a downpour, officially at the airport between 8 and 11 o'clock this morning. This is how the rains came down with thunderstorms rumbling through the area. A wake-up call for those that may have been sleeping a little bit later on. All right, let's show you some of the numbers out of that rainfall. Philadelphia, over a half inch. Northeast Philadelphia, almost an inch of rain in that short span of time. Atlantic City at the airport, a little less than an inch. And, of course, a half inch, I should say. And in Wilmington, close to three quarters of an inch. Look at the rainbow. We're live on Sky 6 right now. A beautiful rainbow indicating that things are definitely clearing. That is a gorgeous shot. Plenty of sunshine. All right, let's uh, take a look at the radar situation now and give an indication of what is happening. There's the current picture. We can see moving out of Delaware County on into Gloucester up in Mercer as the cell just kind of split in two as it approached Philadelphia. Let's go a little wider on action radar and you will see exactly what happened. One cell way to the south now, the other one just moving by to our north. We'll set it in motion for you. And uh, we still, we're going to lose what we had earlier today. But there you can see the cells just kind of breaking apart as they head in our direction, one to the south, one to the north. That's the latest on action radar. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Here, now, that's what we've got. Humid air still in place. Frontal system is yet to go through, but cooler, drier air is behind it, pushed along by a high-pressure system up there around Lake Superior. Going to clear things out very, very nicely for the weekend. You're going to love the five-day forecast. All right, call from AccuWeather is we still have to watch out until 11 o'clock tonight. However, with things clearing as they are, I'm sure that that will be canceled shortly. Our high, our low rather, was 73 degrees. We hit 85 degrees thus far for the official high. Let's go live on Sky 6 once again. We have another view. You can see all that blue with some clouds just moving out as the clearing continues. Let's take a look now at the numbers. 82 degrees, humidity 75%, the barometer 2954. It is falling, don't hurt yourself. Winds out of the west, southwest 16 miles an hour. Ocean water temperature is 69 degrees. In the northeast, we're going to post 83, 82 outside the station, 83 for Center City, 82 at the airport. That's the official number. And in Camden, 83 degrees. Let's take a look at it now, the exclusive AccuWeather five-day forecast. Again, we have to post the tornado watch until 11 o'clock, 66 degrees. Good possibility that will be canceled very, very soon. Skies will clear out tonight. It's going to cool off. It's going to be less humid, leading to a very nice weekend. Sunny and windy tomorrow, 80 degrees for the high. The winds will be out of the northwest, about 15 to perhaps 20 miles per hour. Then on Sunday, the winds calm down. Still on the breezy side, but more sunshine. 84 degrees, less humid conditions on both of those days. Looks going to feel very, very good. Let's take a look at the Poconos now. What's going to happen on Saturday? Part... Water, dear. Kept open. 